Andrew, you want to talk about those stats? Since Derrick Henry took over as the full-time starter in 2018, nobody has more touchdowns than this man right here. 68 total touchdowns in that span. This is season eight for you, and so much is made of running backs and workload. How are you feeling? I feel great. Um, it's crazy to say you're eight. Uh, it's, it's fun, blah. But the thing about it, I've been having fun with it and, um, you know, just enjoying the whole process. Yeah, so bet – Mike Vrabel's a veteran guy, right? He's very concerned about pushing guys, but he also cares about the workload and the load overall. It's a big word now. Yeah. How does he handle and how are you handling what your workload is and the communication during times like this preparing for the season? Yeah, just coming out here, um, just, just trying to get better, um, working hard, uh, focus on improving, letting it translate from the meeting room um, onto the field, and then taking advantage of my reps um, and just, just go out there and try to give it my all every single time. And whatever you know, coach wants me to do or needs me to do, I'm always for it. Do you ever go to Rabes and say, hey, listen, coach, you know, maybe a few less today or a little a little less today? My sense is that you're not that kind of guy, but Rabes is probably going to want to hear that from you. Do you ask him for time down or maybe limiting the reps at all during practice, during pre preseason mostly? No, it's not that hard on me, so I don't usually um, <laughs> have to ask. Um, just try to take advantage of my reps. Um, co coach does a great job of you know, trying to take care of us, but also know, you know when it's time to work, we need to work. It is go time now, obviously, but this off season when it wasn't, we understand you got in some work with DeAndre Hopkins, your new teammate. What was that like? working with him, getting to know him this offseason? Yeah, we used to always see each other in the offseason and uh, always say what up. we always always been cool, but for us to actually, you know, be in the same setting and um, putting the work in, um, doing everything we need to do to uh, get prepared for training camp, and the season is pretty cool. Get to know him, see how he works, see how I work, and, um, you know, thought of me playing with him, you know, definitely came about, so definitely excited to have him, and uh, it was finally uh, cool to be able to work out in the same setting. So, so two seasons ago, you guys are the number one seed in the playoffs. So coming into the last year, there's a lot of hype and people wondering how good this team is going to be. How far are they going to go? Are they going to be challenging? This year, it sounds a little bit different. Which way do you prefer? With all the hype and all the high expectations or right now, where you know, everyone's talking about Jacksonville right now. Mm -hmm. where, where are you more comfortable? Yeah, I think you just ignore the noise, put your head down and work. Let them say whatever and just, just keep getting better. Um, you know, it, that's always going to be talk about this to that and, and that and the third. So, you know, we just focus on come out here every day, make each other better on all three phases and um, continue to do that, continue to work and then let everything get, let everything else take care of itself. Uh, Jacksonville is a great team. They had a great year last year and um, you know, we're just going to continue to work. I'm going to tell you something. If you can't tell that this guy played for Nick Saban and Mike Vrabel and how he <laughs> for is. For sure, you already know. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> You already know. Yeah, Derek's sure. like, exactly, Scott. You're right on with that. <laughs> no trick questions here, promise. When we talk about um, things that are being talked about, not being talked about, so much has been made about your position uh -huh. recently and guys not getting paid what they're worth. And you have really, you're the leader at this position in this league. And you took the reins and collectively got together a group of running backs around the league. Tell us about your thoughts behind doing that, what that was like, the conversations you've had with your colleagues. Yeah, this, uh, I started a, a group message and um, just wanted to get some open dialogue to see how everybody felt about what, what was going on and, um, you know, the market and uh, if guys felt like they were um, able to get what they felt like they, they were worth and just get different opinions and then see how can we act upon that and see what other other ideas that um, guys had. And, um, Austin Eckler contacted the NFLPA. We started the uh, Zoom um, meeting, had some uh, great dialogue, which I think we should con continue. But it's all about just trying to help everybody get, you know, what they feel like they, they've earned. Um, you know, I know a lot of people say running back position is the easiest to replace, but I feel like the guys who are elite, who work really hard, who want to give it their all and do what they can to help an organization win and potentially win the championship, I feel like any other position, you know, when they produce and had production, I feel like they get what they deserve. So we just want the same thing, a fair, a fair share. And um, I know we know it's going to be tough. We know that, you know, in – Something might, might not happen, but we're going to keep fighting until it does for future guys, as far as myself, um, you know, being a veteran, just, just trying to help any way I can to um, help these guys. Derek, you can't pass if you can't run. 
And I so, think anyone that knows sure. these Tennessee Titans and the folks that live in this area here know you are irreplaceable and you have been worth every single penny that this franchise has paid you over the Amen. years. Thank they have you. certainly Appreciate got that. their money's worth. Best of luck to you. Year number eight. We hope you have a healthy and wonderful season. Yeah, thank you all. Thank you all for having me and great business with you all. Uh, Andrew, let's send it back over to you.